but I'm gonna make uh, this dog trailer. It's currently, when it's in game, it's a quad dog, so four axles. Uh, gonna make it into five axle dog or quin or whatever you want to call it. So, let's have a go. first, see what happens when we stretch it. Obviously said I had another axle, we want to make this a little bit longer, so we'll just see what happens here. So, let's see what I did there. Uh, highlight whatever you want to put into polygon mode. Up the top here, you should have these little options, object, polygon, edge, vertex. Click on Polygon, then click anywhere here, and it'll change to this, so you can actually select actually little bits and pieces of the model. So what I'm going to do is highlight. I'm just going to highlight this and see what happens when we try and stretch it. By the looks, that's probably going to turn to shit. Hmm. See what happens. I'm going to stretch on X, I'm going to not do that. This little thing here, if you put your cursor, if I put my cursor there and I push, so I'm going to put it here and I'm going to push X, that little thing that was there goes to there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if and then I was to stretch it, it'll just stretch nicely along that line. Probably going to be all fucked up because of the way that's selected, but uh, if I was to put it there, it's going to stretch, but it's also going to stretch this stuff back the other way. But because it's, I guess, further as left to whatever's highlighted, it'll only s stretch that to the right. But anyway, let's see what happens here. I'm not sure what, quite sure what's going to happen. Might go to garbage, but um, so I'm in scale on the x-axis, because that's... We're going to do that. Actually looks alright. So we've just made it a little bit longer. Right now. Everything seems to be in place, not doing anything weird. So if you just want to see how far I went there, I'll, I'll push the back arrow. And it'll go back to it original. And we'll stretch it again. Yeah, you can see a little bit of games going on up here, distortion. This model is not very great, but anyway, we'll go with it. So I just want to make enough room, so these are our wheel nodes these two, so we're going to add another axle, I'll probably, I'll go back again, and I might stretch, stretch the trailer till that wheel node's there, that way it gives me sort of even spacing, you know, so I've got, so I'll bring these two wheel nodes back, basically create another one there, um, we'll go out of uh, polygon mode, click there again, it takes us back to normal, so whatever we select, you sort of, you can move it around or do whatever, but yep. So now I want to, I need another axle, I guess, so we're going to uh, separate all this axle configuration so I can pinch apart, basically. So same thing again, we're going to highlight that, up to polygons, click, and we're going to, uh, if you come up to select, uh, and click on this one here, element, 
and then if I go in here and I push control E it'll select that now what it won't do because there's two of those one on either side obviously it's normally it only selects one side so you'll have to go through and sort of keep selecting so um, you can keep going through highlight put your mouse or cursor there push control E keep selecting everything or you can just hold shift and highlight just got to make sure you don't grab hold of other things see how that went darker so that other side of that so the other side of the chassis actually wasn't selected that's how you you, you sort of know that it hasn't been selected so that's completely selected now uh, I'm gonna select all of that now grab that hmm, what do we want here we'll grab that so that's a control shift e sorry i think i said control before shift e um yeah see all of that wasn't selected both sides not quite sure all of this is going to be selected either it may not be but what you can do if you want to check it so this is the axle that we're selecting we'll go down here we'll go select move and actually click on that see what stays attached so see there's a little bit a little bit there that's stretching out it's something we haven't selected so if we click back right here somewhere something's not selected let's try and move that again there you go so now we've grabbed it we've got all that axle selected if I just go back and I'll scroll out make sure we do everything oh no we've got another little bit there a little bit just there still where are we about here somewhere I think it was see what happens now that got him right so we'll put the back so it's in its position uh, what we're going to do now is come over to here go select detach polygons from object click that you're then going to come back over to your highlighted section and actually click on it and it disappears Ooh. What haven't we got selected there? I don't like that. I'm going to go back. So you'll see it, it'll appear again. We'll highlight this again. Go into polygon and now selected. Should still be selected. Something wasn't selected in that. So let's keep selecting. Try that again. Detach polygon. Yeah, that's better. It got that rod. Right, so you see it hasn't left anything behind. Separated it from the rocker box. Pretty much what we want to do. Um, so obviously we can't see that because we've got this isolated. Um, if I click down on that, we can see the axle we've just separated. Alrighty. Uh, what are we going to do now? We will... So we're going to need to stretch this guard out to allow for the third axle and wheel. So what I'll do for now, just so we can get a reference on where that axle is going to be, is I'm going to make a copy of that and just move it over so I know how far I guess to move that guard. So up to create copy, we want to copy on the X so when we click on that it'll make a copy and then we can move it straight over to position um, so yep you're in copy select move it over now what I'll do after is separate that rocker box uh, make a copy of that and bring it over and I'll delete that hanger there as well so that rocker box will go where the hanger is
Actually, we might do that now. Um, so, deselect copy. Go in. And we're going to delete that out. So, we want to select it. Polygons. Unselect everything. Where's that shifty? Uh, modify, delete, 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 fucking hell, delete, there you go. Might delete whatever the fuck that's supposed to be to, bush or something. Just don't want to delete that. Do it the painful way. Oh, kidding. Hey. Why is it doing that? Grab there. Delete. going to take it, separate that rocker box. Um, so we'll highlight that. Into polys. Right. -o. This should be fun. Um, so what you can do because it's only highlighted these things uh, you can see I can put my cursor on that and it doesn't actually select it, so I can select as much as I can. Making sure I'm selecting what I need. Alright, and then once all that's selected, I can go in and sort of have to get these bits bit by bit, really. So, uh, I don't know if. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, yeah, that would have selected the end of that rod. Hopefully that selected both of the bolt heads. See what happens if I shift E on here. E. Yeah, so I'm just going to hold shift and keep highlighting, get all the bits and pieces. Geez, that red's hard on the eyes, so it hasn't got any of that. Hopefully, we might get away with this. Mm. Yeah, I think. Oh no! Take that one. I think I got it all. Maybe. But same again, to check it out. We'll go down in the 3D view. We'll go over to move. And just move it, see what's still attached. So, we actually didn't want that piece, so we go back. It's selected something that we didn't actually want it to select. Turn move off. Which is now going to be a pain in the ass, but anyway, uh, let's see what happened here. So if you hold some while it's selected, if you hold control and then highlight, it'll deselect, but it won't deselect everything. It'll only deselect what you're sort of highlighting, I guess. Uh, we need to find wherever that is, that piece we've selected that we shouldn't have. Is that it?
Did I? Bit of a pain in the ass, but anyway, this is what happens. I don't think I got it there, but I'm just going to try it anyway. Nah, we still got a bit. Still hanging on. I'm going to go another way about this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to unselect all that. I'm going to go select that. Let's see what happens here. Hey, you fucker. I'm gonna select What is that fucking thing? Still got one bit. Where are you? I think, no, it's still not dark. What else are we missing? Try and move it, see what happens. I don't think it's it. Oh, it is. There you go. So, what I'm going to do, go back so it's in position, just to cheat. I'm going to go separate that so then it's out of my road. select all this property. So we'll go back, highlight that, uh, back into Polygon, highlight everything we can easily. Up here, now we can just grab out of all of that. I don't think that nut, that bolt head selected, but we'll try and move it, see what happens. Yeah, it's left one behind. Go back. Let's see if I select. Uh, let's see how we go. Won't be able to just get it without being too much of a pain. Maybe. I don't know. Just wing it. Let's try that. Yeah, now we got it. So back in its normal position, uh, same again. Detach poly. Done. So if we click down here, it's just detached to there. Alright, uh, what we're going to do... We want to copy that rocker box and put it over here. Create, copy, we're going to copy on an X. We will grab all of that, copy, over to there. What did it look like? Something like... Actually, by the looks of that, we need to spin it around. That should be fun. I'm going to go bottom. Where are we? I'm 
going to push X there. Uh, so I put my cursor there because I want this to rotate evenly. So I put in the center of those and push X. Uh, we'll go over here to modify. We want rotate. Uh, I always wing it on rotate, so it's just try one of these and see what happens. And it's the one I wanted. So I'm now going to actually click on it, punch in 180. Yep. And then if we go back to left view, yeah, it's sitting a lot better. Something roughly like that anyway. That'll do for now. Uh, looks like it's got to be... That axle's got to go further forward, eh? So, we might as well move it while we're at it. I'm going to go there. And I'll move this box so it's sitting... So the, yeah, the leaf spring goes there, and then that's a prick of a bush to get in and out, so it's that one. And then, so, move that one into position, now they look relatively like they were built like that. So we might even have to stretch this trailer a bit further. I don't know, I'm just winging it. Uh, okay, what was I going to do before? We're going to stretch uh, this bit of a guard out or whatever it is. So let's find that. Actually, what we can do, they're the guards. So they're that bit there so uh, what I'm going to do is separate them so same again highlight it polygons click on it highlight that bit you want to separate detach polygon done so now I can grab hold of that piece uh, and move it on the what do we want X so it's in a rough position, I guess. So the piece I want to stretch is that horsehair looking chip and that piece right there, which is probably going to be on the chrome, the bin. Yeah, there. Hopefully we can detach. Ooh, what's that? Mud flap. Hopefully we can detach that from the bin. So, same again. Uh, and so what I'll do, I'm going to put my cursor there, shift E, oh that's looking good, we might be able to separate this from the bin, but we want to separate both sides so we're not trying to do this twice and get it even and yeah, let's just see what happens here, what's this piece, it doesn't look like they're even to start with, that might have just made our job a bit easier. See what happens. Let's try to stretch them. So, like I was saying, when I stretch the bin, I want to move that cursor. You can grab hold of it with a mouse too and move it wherever you want, or you can just put the cursor wherever you want and push X. But I want to stretch that from this end so it stretches that way. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So if I was to put that cursor there, go scale, and I stretch that, see it stretches both ways? I don't want that, I want it to stretch. I want it to still be in the same position on the back of the trailer. And then if I scale that now, it stays in the same position on the back and stretches to the, f to the front. 
and as I can see while I'm moving that it's only moving one side so we haven't selected the other side which is alright let's do that uh, shift and highlight looks like it's grabbed out of everything shift highlight hopefully it hasn't grabbed something that we shouldn't have I don't know what that is part of the body by the looks let's try stretch that now yeah now we've got both sides you can see on the 3d view on the right hand side both sides are stretching looks like we've grabbed something there we probably shouldn't have but uh, I'm gonna go back Ooh, no I'm not I'm gonna stay in isolated I'm going to stretch that out to, where are we, I'm going to stretch that out to roughly there, probably a bit too far, there's a look, yeah. we'll go back a bit on that stretch. Like I said, this is not perfect, but we'll go with what we've got. Uh, righto, so that's that bit. Let's move that mud flap into its position. So we're out of polys. Let's select the mud flap, see what else it highlights. Highlights everything. Um, so same again, we'll just detach it from everything else highlight that detach done now we can go back and we can move that along all right starting to look the part i guess um what else horse hair let's get rid of all the shit we don't need Alrighty, let's see what happens when we stretch this. It might turn out looking like shit. It probably will, but let's see what happens. Yeah, sort of looks a bit huge. <laughs> so I'm going to go back. I wonder what happens if I just take a copy of it. Take a copy, put that piece in position, put my cursor there, and maybe shrink it. May look, yeah, it looks a bit weird. Maybe if I go half, half, half there, grab hold of that one to there. Yeah. Looks half okay um alrighty so all our nodes are in fucked up positions uh because we stretch the bins all the light nodes are going to be wrong uh, so let's have a look at them mm. not too bad move a few over so let's do this where was that I'm gonna grab a hold of oh fuck I'm gonna grab a hold of what am I doing here Jeez, 
threw me. Uh, I think it was three. Yep, so I've just highlighted them. Turn that back on. Uh, here we go. Uh, and I'm going to move them. Hey, you fuck. Because that's still selected, it's come with it. Why it does this? So just moving all the light nodes back into position. what we can do so these are the parts that we've separated so the axle pieces and all that so we need to get them back into the default uh, whatever the hell that thing's called uh, I'm going to select all of them so if you select the top one hold shift select the bottom one highlights a lot grab out of all of it drag it in there and dump it in there so then now when I turn that on and off the whole lot turns on and off um, wheel nodes, uh, so what do we got here, should be I'm assuming R1 and R0, yep, if we go to top view, should be something like R1, R0 sitting there somewhere, Let's see if we can turn a fair bit of this off, we want to leave the chassis obviously, light nodes off, yep, turn all that shit off, no, leave that, yeah, that can stay on, alright, R0, R1, so we're going to move, so we're going to highlight them, so to highlight, same as before, I'm just holding shift, uh, what's that? So they're your particles, dust or whatever. Uh, we're gonna move. We're gonna move on Y this time. So that's in this view, up down. Righto. And then I'm gonna select these ones by themselves. Hey. Go away there and there. Done. Uh, obviously, I need another set for this axle. Uh, those nodes are going to annoy me now, so I'm just going to select these ones and make a copy. Create. Same as copying. Bring them down to here. Somewhere like that. Obviously, they're not going to be R1 and R0. They're going to be. going to be uh, 
four, uh, five. So that should be, it always starts at zero, but zero, one, two, three, four, five, but yeah, zero is actually one. Um, what else? Uh, the only thing we haven't done is stretched out that shadow. stretch that shadow now, obviously you don't want to stretch anything else, so you're going to turn that off, you're going to turn those nodes off, or turn the viz off, we don't have, oh, if I wanted to get really picky I could start chopping the shadow apart for that extra axle, but I couldn't be bothered because I'm not going to use this anyway, <laughs> um, same as before, highlight it, Poly, somewhere about there. Uh, so what we can do, is see how far we're gonna stretch it. Go away. All right. Uh, we don't want copy. We want modify. Um, right. Let's have a look. See what that does. Something like that. So like I said, I, d I don't have a shadow on that extra axle I just added, but I really couldn't be bothered. So uh, if you want to put it on there, it's basically what we did before. You you, you go in uh, and separate all that out of the shadow and make a copy of it, move it across to there and line it up with the axle. That's it. Well, that's it for the easy side anyway. What I'm going to do is make a copy, um, but I'm going to make a copy so that I can still keep the quad dog trailer. So I'll basically make another folder for this one in the dog trailer folder. So I'm going to go file export. Um, where is it? In here, vehicle, trailer. Uh, so the model that I've just stretched and cut and done whatever is actually this one, this folder. What I might do is go copy, paste, call it, what are we calling it? Uh, five axle. Uh, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to override that. So I basically just made a copy and paste of uh, all the folder, the um, texture files, the materials, whatever's in that folder, called it five axle because that's what I want to call this trailer. Uh, and then I'm going to save that PMD, override the what would have been the copy of the quad quad dog. Uh, so I'm going to go, yep, and it's going to tell me that it's not saved to the original file path, but we already know that because that's correct. And I might this video up here and I'll do another one on setting uh, the def file up for this trailer and we'll have a look in game.